Atlanta Plugged In starts now. Metastatic Breast Cancer Day brings awareness to the most advanced stage of breast cancer. Joining us is cancer survivor Joy Jenrette to spread awareness. So welcome Joy. First tell us why this Awareness Day is so important. Um, it's so important because um, there's a lot of focus on early stage breast cancer. It's, you know, we've made a lot of strides with early stage breast cancer. You know, it's curable. And especially in Pinktober, I think that uh, there's a lot of focus around um, that, the early stage. But with metastatic breast cancer, you know, the work really isn't done. It is, uh, <laughs> it's not curable. Um, and it's really only, it's, it's only treatable. And there is 150,000 people who are living with um, metastatic breast cancer, and you know I'm a, I'm one of them. And it is just really important for us to highlight and, and make sure people are understand metastatic breast cancer. It's different than early stage, um, and really, it's research that's going to be able to make metastatic breast cancer curable, um, like early stage breast cancer. And also it's through research that will allow us to invest in treatments um, to extend the lives of people living with this disease and improve the quality of life of those people living with the disease. Susan G. Homan understands that, you know, that this is, is the research that's gonna be able to push us forward. And, um, and they've invested, I think half of their research funding goes to metastatic research. It is through this investment in research and through this investment and in advocacy for access to care and supportive care and financial support of people who are battling breast cancer um, is, is how we're going to move the needle forward. And how do you suggest people get involved? I'll say they can pick up the phone and call their congressman. There's a couple legislations that are in Congress now that will make immediate impacts into the lives of people living with breast cancer now, today. The first one is the Metastatic Breast Cancer Access to Care Act. The second is the Cancer Drug Parity Act. You know, people with, um, with cancer um, can, can have access to these oral drugs that are, um, that a lot of times are the only option for them or the, or the best option for them. And I think a lot of people all, you know, typically think of IV chemo drugs as the main types of therapy when it comes to fighting cancer. But these oral medications really um, in, enable or, or can be better medications for them, but the cost is a lot of times prohibitive. Okay, thank you so much for joining us, Joy. You can learn more and even donate by visiting Komen.org.